All righty, righty, righty. Let's get the party started. What's up? What's up? It's just so much stuff about to happen. And of course, you know, I got my puzzles for you guys as well. I got puzzles today that when you see them, literally, I'm going to say, get your oxygen machine ready. I hope it, I hope you have an oxygen machine on your left and a defibrillator on your right. You're right. You're like, <laughs> I mean, make sure you have somebody in the room who knows how to operate both because I got some puzzles. You're going to be like, wait a minute. That just didn't, ha that, that can't happen on the chessboard. This is not real to the chessboard. One of them is light. One of them is light. The next two, woo, <laughs> is going to be sick, sick y'all. Absolutely. And everybody's already previewing one of the games. Oh, y'all saw that game, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Yes. We're going to definitely take a look at this game that I see and it's being popping up in the, in the chat. Definitely. Y'all saw that too. Whoa. Whoa. That's some good stuff. I want to go to some mind blowing. We're going to now enter the matrix puzzles. I like that. The matrix puzzles, the matrix files. That's a good one. I'm gonna have to really spit shine that clean that up but the matrix files we're going to enter puzzle land right now what we're going to enter is some stuff that is truly deep i'm going to guarantee you I, this is what's going to happen you're going to finish seeing these and be like okay that's it I, I can't watch the rest of the stream i have to pause my eyeballs uh might be glowing right now i mean it's just too much it's too much this is where we're going in D. So check this out. Let's start with the first one. I think I'm all set up for it. I think I am. So I'm not going to go on break just yet. I'm just going to show you all the puzzle. Let's hope it's right. Let me just close my eyes and be like, okay, I'm good. I'm good. I got it right. I got it right. I got it all set up right. Okay. I'm good. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to do this puzzle. This is the lightweight version, but I love, I love this puzzle. I'm going to tell you straight up, I love this puzzle, all right? So, uh, hold on, hold on. I feel like I lost something there. All right, there we go. This puzzle is really a deep one. Can we say it's a deep one? Yes, we can. This puzzle is indeed quite deep. The point of this puzzle is white to move and checkmate in two moves, all right? So, looks like... You know, the ballers are dropping it already. I see Steph Kitch is saying, I, I, mean, I think I already know this one. This doesn't seem hard at all. In fact, uh, you know, it's, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. All right. No problem. No problem. So um, some people are promoting to a queen. Not, not, not a good idea now. Not a good idea. All right. Here we go. So this puzzle is slightly tricky because if you promote to a queen, you ask for a queen in this position, all right? Then black can sidestep to C6 and ask you to mate. Good luck. Good luck trying to checkmate black. You can look around. Uh, you're not C7 is not going to do it. Queen C7 is going to allow the king to move there. A uh, rook c7 is going to allow the king to move there as well. Uh, th what else can we do? Rook h6, king going to dodge. King's dance. So oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. If rook h6, king's going to dodge. Nope, that's not mate. B8 coin. What, what do you do? There's no mate. There's no mate. We're done. Messed up. There is no mate on the board. All right? There's no mate. There's no mate. What to do? What to do? The point in this position is not to promote to a queen, but as guessed already, uh, is to promote to a knight. You underpromote to a knight, no problem. Now, black cannot sidestep to the c6 square, and d7 is covered. So after king to e6, the only move, rook h6 is checkmate. Pure and simple. Now, y'all going to be like, okay, that wasn't, 
that was cute, but it wasn't like, you know, you know mind blowing or anything like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. You know, it's promoting it. But hold on. Here we go. Next level, y'all. We're going to change this position from this one. And now we're going to look at the position here. Now it's white to move and checkmate in two moves. White to move and checkmate in two moves. Now, if white now gets a queen, that's called a stalemate. Nowhere for the king to go. Absolutely no squares. Every square is covered. That cannot be the move. Look, you are done. Mm, that was dumb. Getting a queen. All right, so we know that trick. So we got to go one step backwards and figure out what to do. Now, this time if you get a knight, mm, not going to work. King here, and there is no mate anywhere to be found. Bad idea. So what is the correct move? In this position, it's to under-promote once more to a rook this time now you ask for a rook no stalemate king has to go to e6 rook to c6 and matutski game over hello all right not so bad not so bad so we saw this position here right hold on hold on let me back up to the beginning position so we saw this position you promote to a knight we see this position you promote to a rook. Let's go to the next one. On to the next one. On to the next one. We're going to put the pawn here this time. White to move and mate in two. Well, it turns out that in this position, finally, finally, you can promote and have to promote to a queen. Have to. No choice. It's the right move. If black tries to sidestep to c6, no, sir, you're not going anywhere. That's mate. And if black goes over to the e6 square, well, looks like we have options here. Mm, or maybe it's just queen e7 is check and mate. Three different positions, three different promotions, three different mates. This first, knight. This one next, rook. This one next, queen. On to the next one. Let's shift one more time. Pawn this time on e7. It's made in two. Well, guess what? We already know what the answer has to be, right? It, we already had a knight. We already had a rook. We already had a queen. If you try a queen again this time, just to make sure you know, once again, that's a stalemate. If you try instead a rook, well, the king's going to leave. You're not going to have any checkmate. No food for you. If you ask for a knight, of course, same problem. The king leaves. There's no mate. Dream on. So what do you have to ask for in this position? Instead, you know the only piece you can ask for is a bishop. Hello. And now there is no stalemate. The king cannot go to c6 because the bishop is controlling that key square. And so the king has to go here, only move. And now rook h6 is Matutski once again. Check that out, y'all. I mean, who came up with this game called chess? That's a knight. That's a rook. That's a queen. That's a bishop. I mean, nothing changed. It's just like, I mean, the fact that you create a game that all those pieces move different ways. Like, think about it. They all move different ways. And it just so happens that you can have situations where as you shift along a file, you promote to a different piece and it's the only solution to the puzzles. I mean, who, like chess is just so geometrically beautiful. It's just so beautiful that these kind of anomalies, these strange happenings can happen on the chessboard, this wonderful game that we call chess. Isn't it great? It's absolutely great, y'all. I just, I got to tell you, I love it. I love it that this is what chess does. Amazing, amazing. Uh, I wish I created this puzzle. I did not, I have to tell you. Uh, I did not. It's just, just wild. The geniuses that come up with this kind of stuff. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This one, this one is nasty mind giving us like two minutes yannick or two uh hmm yo 
I can give you 10 minutes. This one's rough. This one's rough. I can't just, you know, maybe I, I, I you know what? I'm going to let y'all, I'm going to let y'all look at it for a high second. And I'm going to talk in the meantime. If you don't want to hear me talking, you can turn down the sound. It's like, Marie, shut up. I want to think. I want to analyze. I mean, I could let you analyze. You know, I can check my phone. What's on this? What's up on the news right now? Anybody texting me? What's up? What's up? While they try to figure out this puzzle. Hey, yo, 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 you know what? They just trying to work on the puzzle. So I'm just sitting chill here for like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40. They still trying. To... No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay. First of all. First of all, first of all, it is white's turn to move. So already, if it were black's turn to move, I would flip the board. So let's be clear. It is white's turn to move. Okay? For those of you who don't know, now you know. It's white's turn to move. It is white's turn to move. But well, here's the deal. Uh, Shushuyu said, why can't we just play D7? Drop D7 on the board. Well, I'm going to tell you something else. It's white to move and draw white to move and draw that is the puzzle so you might be like well i got a deep pawn I'm about to drop it it's gonna be it's white to move and draw and this is guaranteed to burn out your eyeballs you're not gonna have eyeballs after this you're gonna be like what that's that was nasty that was nasty what we're gonna say white to move and draw Make a draw. All right, here we go. Why would you want to draw? Arithmetic, sometimes you beg for a draw. You'd be like, please. That's already showing you how deep this puzzle is. Why would you want to draw? You have to pass deep on. I want to win. I want to win. Mm, yeah, okay. Try to win this one and see what happens to you. You're going to get your feelings badly, like badly hurt. You want to make a draw in this position. So here we go. Uh, Stars fan said, I'm an, only an expert at positions where you lose the game in the end. Hey, Arithmetic says you're winning. Um, mm, mm, no, mm, no, mm, no, that's not going to happen. Everybody's guessing. I mean, y'all are guessing a lot of moves, talking about White's going to win or there's no problem. And I'm no, this is a draw and it's going to be flavorful. It's not as flavorful as the next one. The next one is going to be just like, and it's going to be a win. So you'll be like, okay, we're back. We want to win. We want to win. The next one is going to be like, psh, like your just the sockets are going to fry on the next one. But this one is nice. This one is slick. All right. So you have to you have to watch out because you're trying to draw. You're trying to draw. So Yannicker too makes a great point. He says you have to see Bishop eight six. Bishop eight six with the mate threat. You're not missing anything. Bishop eight six with the mate threat. That's the threat. But white's going to draw this game. White's going to draw the game. This is what white has to do is draw. Okay. So how do you deal with the draw? All right. Now, Yannicker 2 is seeing some ideas, but it ain't over yet. It's not over. You didn't finish it. You're closing in. I'm going to give you that hint. You're closing in, but it's not et cetera. What you just said is et cetera. It ain't et cetera. It's just et. It might be et but it ain't et cetera yet. No, 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 it's not. You need to look a little bit deeper, but you are on the right track indeed. So here we go. I, I think I've given y'all enough time. I've heard a lot of guesses and only one person really came up with a possibility that is on the right track. It was the et before you could say cetera, okay? Because it's not even close yet to the finish and i'm looking at another line ghost jw is dropping some lines and a this and then a that and a those oh, no, oh, mm -hmm. nice idea but nobody has seen the win yet the win the the winning not the winning idea the the idea that wins you everybody everybody's praise Ooh, like i tried to sneak out of that one it's a draw it's a draw it's going to be a draw how do you pull it off if you are white? Well, let's not get into the puzzle. Since you guys asked for some time and I BSed all this time, let's get into the puzzle. As some of you have already noted, the problem here is that black has a very serious threat. Black has a threat of putting a bishop on h6 
and then moving the king either to e2 or to d3. That's going to be mate. That's just going to be mate. It's going to be over. If you try to stop this idea by playing the move bishop to b4, let's just start with a bad move. If you play bishop to b4, black will play king to e2. And now the threat is once again, check followed by mate when your bishop blocks. In this case, you would have no choice but to play bishop to d2. You have no other move that's going to stop it. But black can now take your d-pawn. Now that black is taking your d-pawn, black is now going to take your h-pawn. Then black's going to move the bishop out the way wherever black wishes to. Then play h2, then play h1, and you're done. That's game. So bishop to b4, we don't like. It's not working. All right? Let's back up to this moment in the game. What to do? Bishop to b4 doesn't help. Bishop c5 check also doesn't help because after the king moves, what are you supposed to do? You could actually play the same bishop e3 and hope, but it's not going to help. We can take. You're now forced to push. We play bishop here. You queen. We move with check. We laugh. You block. And we mate you on a stick. None of those moves actually work. So we got to get out of that one. The only move after we see those two lines to play is the move d7. Only move. All right. Now you're threatening the bishop on f8. Want to capture it if you can, then you would be winning. But Black, of course, says, so what? Here we go. Here's our check. Here's our threat. Here's our go. What you going to do? This is it. White is in deep trouble because the discovered check is threatened. So you cannot promote to a queen because of this, as we've seen before. But White does have a spicy move, crispy move, a crispy one. And that is Bishop to F8. Some of you have already pointed out this move. Bishop to F8. Deflect the bishop. That's what you want to do. Deflect the bishop. So now the bishop is like, well, I don't want to, I don't want to give you a stinking position like that. So let me play this move. And now White says, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Same deal. You take my bishop. I promote. You got to take. And it's a stalemate. I'm out. The party's over. Black says, I don't like that party. I want the party to continue. Let's play a little Bishop F4 action. Now what you're going to do? What you're going to do? Now, White has a couple of moves here, a couple of ideas. It feels like it's just done. Like you just, you just keep following him. It's over. It's over. Sorry, uh, it's not so easy. It's not so easy. Let's follow him one more time. Let's follow him. Let's go after him. Now, Black says... Hold the phone, Martha. Who, who's Martha? Who is, who's Martha? Why did I say Martha? Yeah, somewhere somebody said that, so I'm just going to say, hold the phone, Martha. Hold on. Hold on. This time, I'm taking it. I am taking it. I am bold. I'm going for the win. This is called for the win. What are you going to do now? Okay. Okay, you queen, you promote. Back to F4. Now what? Now what? We got a little disco mate action coming with king e2. What you going to do? You could play check. The king moves. And uh, we're going to take your queen. Or you could take us. Our king's going to come back down. Grab your pawn. We got passes all day. You're dead. You're finished. It's over, over. Game done. All right? Game done. Let's go back to this bishop f4 moment where bishop d6 takes queens, bishop back to f4 happened. Now, somebody said, well, what about queen g5 then? Let's just draw with a queen g5. What about queen g5? Eh, sorry, that's not going to work either. Chirp, pain, pain, give me that. And this pass pawn ties down your king, king goes, and that's the end of the story. None of that works. Now I see somebody who just noticed it gangster style. I see a move uh, somebody has known and seen, and that is what we're talking about. And I'm hearing this is a Frédéric Lazare puzzle. I appreciate you, sir. I appreciate you for letting us know that. I'm going to keep that in mind. Frédéric Lazare. You know, we got knowledge in this building. That's what's up. Let's go back to the moment when Bishop takes D6 was played. 
Here is the critical moment in the game. We already previewed it from the last puzzle. We previewed it from the last puzzle. The only move for White right now is to ask for a rook. Only move, ask for a rook. Now, White is planning to take that bishop off the board with the rook. Okay, but the bishop's like, let me dance. Let me dance, bishop f4. And now we see the critical point. A rook is better than a queen. A rook is better than a queen because rook to d2, y'all. Rook d2. Stopping the king move. You try king f3, it's a stalemate. Our queen can't take a bishop because we don't have a queen. It's a rook this time. So it's just stalemate. Well, black doesn't want those stinking stalemate. He's like, I don't want a stalemate. What's that about? I want a stalemate. I'm going to just chill. I'm going to just back up. I'm going to back up. I'll wait for you. You're in Zugzwang, aren't you? You're in Zugzwang. You're in Zugzwang. What are you going to do? Move your rook now so I can disco you. Well, I know. You're going to disco me? Well, I'm going to attack your bishop then. Move your king up the board and see what happens. I'm taking your bishop off the board. Don't play any foolish moves now. Your bishop is hanging. Black's like, wait a second. I don't like this. Let me move back again. I still got the same threat. Well, what you going to do now? I'm hitting your bishop. It's like, dang. If I go back to F4, well, I'm going back to D2. If I go back to G5, well, I'm going back to that square. What do you have now? Tell us about it. Black says, okay, hold on, hold on. I got an idea. I'm backing my king up towards my bishop. Now what? Now what? What you going to do now? We're going to do the do on you. Oh, he says, I got the same trick, son. I'm not foolish. I'm not going to play this dumb move so you can move out the way and get ready to promote your pawn. That's not going to happen. That's zero. That's zilch. I still have the same idea. I'm no fool. It was good before. It's good again. You still don't have a way to get me after I move my rook back. It's always a stalemate. If you back your bishop up again, Attack, if you back your king up, we go back to the same position and there's no way for black to improve. Don't move the bishop off this diagonal now. Don't get all silly and say, let me back up some more then, okay? He's going to be like, okay, now guess who's going to be resigning shortly because I'm taking this pawn, then I'm taking this one. This one looks like it's lunch too and I'm going to be pushing this. So don't be foolish. Take the draw while you have it. So there you go. That is the draw, the correct move. Let's start from the top. D7, bishop f8, bishop e7, bishop d6. Take it, under promote to a rook, bring it back to d2, and attack all day. And come back, and attack, and come back all day makes a draw. All right, where are we going? Where are we going? On to the next one. This one? I'm warning you. Make sure you have, like, a pill nearby. Make sure there's a, a human being somewhere like sitting close because this next one is way out in space. And some of you might just, that didn't just happen. That was insane. How did that go down? Like it just went down wild. Okay. And I know it's set up correctly. So I'm not giving away anything, Boy, I'd be upset if I was, but I'm not. Hello. I had it set up right here. We go. Y'all we're going now to the world of the real. Here we go. It is white to move and win. Already we see this is a crazy looking position. This is crazy. We got triple pawns. How did this happen? We had to have multiple captures for this to happen. But you know, it's legal. It can happen. That's not the problem. The first problem is white has zero pawns. So white has only pieces. White has only pieces to work with. But White's thinking, I got a lot of pieces. I got a rook. I got a bishop. I got a knight. All you got is a bishop. But that said, black has a very strong pawn on a2. This pawn is going places, okay? Pawn is going places. The pawn is going places indeed. So what should white do to deal with this position? Because black's intention is to move the b-hop out the way, and then promote. Black's best intention, like the closest one, is to actually just take this knight and be like, okay, I took the knight off and you know, you got work to do to win this game. 
Black has multiple moves. Uh, White has multiple moves, excuse me. But the key one, I'm not going to share just yet. I'm going to show you an alternate possibility. White can play knight takes on b4, like kill one of those double pawns, get the knight out of danger, prepare to check with the bishop, lots of good things. The problem is that black can just move the bishop, let's say, to the square e5, bishop back to e5, attack the rook. And this a pawn, man, that a pawn is fast and dangerous. No check's going to help. The king will move out the way and here comes the girl the queen is coming that's just that's just going to be bad news sally all right you just can't deal with it so knight takes b4 does not work does not work try to force b2 and bishop d3 mate a nice concept no that's not going to work either somebody said rook c2 you mean knight b4, bishop e5, rook c2 now? I mean, that's not going to work. So, no, that's not going to work. All right, let's back up. Knight b4 is not going to work. Now, before I give you the answer, you said knight, maybe knight e3 to play bishop d3, etc., etc., etc. This one is a try. It's a try. I'm going to say it's a try. The problem with this move is probably just something like bishop to c3. And that's going to be it. All right? That's going to be it. So that doesn't solve it. I see somebody's on the way. I see somebody's on the way trying to come up with something. All right, let's start. Now that y'all are sniffing at it, let's go in that direction, y'all. I'm going to help y'all out by starting again with this position. This is the first position. And the first move was spotted. I think Liakos dropped it and said, let's try knight a3 with check. Knight a3 with check. Now, this knight must be captured. Must. If you play king to b2, then you could just take. And this construction is not at all good for black. Black is just getting hit in the face. Only one move here, king b1. Drop a check. King to b2. And now... Best knight move is to d6. Totally frozen king. Only one move, king a3. Knight c4 check. King has to go. Rook a7 check. King has to go up again. Knight a5 check from the bishop. Whatever move you play, well, you can play this, at least trying to attack the rook. Check. King up. And knight takes b3. And white has collected critical pawns. And the next one is on the way as well. So... Just trying to convince you completely that after knight a3 check, you must, must take this piece. All right? Here we go. Now that this has happened, black is still threatening to move the bishop out of the way and promote. Even check and promote. Black is threatening to do that. So white now plays bishop to d3 check and king to b2. We have achieved something huge. I mean, this is indeed a big deal. The king is in the way off the pawns, and it's also in the way of the bishop, that's a big deal. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. All right, somebody said, let's take the pawn. Let's take the pawn on b5. You could do that. The king's going to go back down. And uh, when you play this check, he's going to just go right back. And this is not the progress we were looking for. This is, this is annoying. This is annoying. Not the progress we were looking for. Indeed. Indeed. So, in this position, bishop d3 check. King to b2. King to b2. What to do? Draw Meister. You said, are these positions from the same book? You will never find this book. It's called, it, it's such a, I actually have it right here. Right here. Chess. Serious for fun. Okay? You can look it up. You'll never find this book. This book, uh... I, I think I saw this in like a strand or something. And there are a lot of positions in this book that don't work are not that great and not that interesting. There are about 10 in the whole book that I ended up uh, finding that were like, these are worthy puzzles to show. But unfortunately, the book should be out of print. If you can find it, I hope so. There are some positions that are worthwhile. I'm going to show 
all of them. The ones I think are worthwhile. There's a lot of other stuff, fairy chess and all stuff going on uh, in this. But here we go. We're back to this puzzle. We're back to this puzzle. What to do? Somebody says, king, move the king somewhere. Move the king somewhere. All right, well, let's move the king somewhere. We're going to move the king. Come closer. Why not? Well, after pawn up, what do you do? What do you do? Well, Noodler says, found it. Good for you. You're going to make some money. Is that like a $100 book now? Good for you. If you found the book, I, I'm assuming you found the book. It was on Abe Books. That's what's up. Good. Good. I'm glad you can find it. There are other puzzles in here. Uh, there are other ideas in the book that I didn't find that particularly interesting. But this one, these I'm showing, I definitely found. So let's go. Is Bishop F1 good? Bishop F1. No, you're, you're back to back to it again. We, we don't have a move here. We don't have a move here. So let's go back. Bishop D3, King to B2. All right, y'all. Who's got to move? Who's got to move? Who's got to move? Move the rook away, says Stars fan. Move the rook away. Well, if you move, where are you going to move the rook? Because the king's going to move. And then these pawns are just beastie. They're just flying down the board. Just sit tight with bishop moves. You can't sit tight with bishop moves. If you chill, pawn up, and you're threatening stalemate instantly. You got problems. Ah, now somebody found the idea. Here we go. Rook B7 is not going to work. Here we go. All right. <laughs> Am I very aggro? This game goes hard. Yo, Versace pump fake. Stop it. Stop it. All right. Here we go. This next move, and I do have a thought on John Donaldson's book, so I will talk about that indeed. Get it. That's, that's my thought. Get it. Of course, it's John Donaldson. But here is the move. You ready? The problem is stalemate, right? The problem is stalemate. So the correct move is bishop h7. Bishop to h7. We've got to lift the stalemate. How we do that? Well, b4 is the only move. And now it's ladder time, y'all. The ladder. Why am I dancing like bachata right now? The ladder time. King G6. Stop the stalemate. Stop the stalemate. Stop the presses. Stop the stalemate. Now your king has a move. King to B1. And now, whoop. To the side, to the back. To the side, to the back. Check. The king has to go back. Stop the stalemate again. We're going to sneak a little closer. Black has no other move. Black has to play King B1. Stop the stalemate. Yeah, well, it's check time again. Up, oh, stop the stalemate. Up, oh, check him again. Stop the stalemate. Look at that king just boogie all the way down from H6 all the way to D2 with all those moves. That was insane. I know y'all feeling that. That was insane. The kick was on H6 a second ago. And with that sweet ladder technique, Flew all the way down to D2. But it's not over. It's not over yet. <laughs> you got to this point. You feel like it should be a win. The guy plays King B2 and you're like, it's over, right? We, we look at all, we got this close. We, we, we almost touched it now. The king is in the house. What's up? It's not over yet. There's still one more beautiful point that you've got to discover. Even here, even if you had found the knight check, even if you had found the bishop h7, even if you find the ladder, you're still here. And I could have started here and said, well, what's the solution to this puzzle? To this puzzle. Well, we still have some high class trickery to do. Some high class trickery to do. Bishop to c2. Nice idea. Nice idea. Guy's got nothing to do but take. But after you take with check, the king moves. You might be resigning now. <laughs> you might be resigning. I think you're resigning because bishop c3 is coming and pawn queens is coming and you're dead. You're resigning. So bishop c2 does not work. So I see some suggestions, a bunch of players who are throwing out a move. CM Vignesh is throwing it out. I want good music. Throwing out an option here. That is correct. Bishop to g8. Bishop g8. Good move. But we're not done. King to b1. Only move. Well, can't we just win the pawn? Of course, the answer is no. Bishop takes back to that check again. And guess who's getting a queen? So that's not going to get it done. So we need to make 
yet another move because taking on b3 doesn't help. All right. If you thought bishop b bishop to g8 was to take on b3, the answer is no, 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 no. Don't lose the game. You're trying to win the game, not lose the game. Okay. So that did not work. So we've got to keep it going. We don't even have a choice. And I see y'all are dropping the move. Rook to c1, check. That looks good. That looks good. King to b2. We're still there. All right. King to b2. Now what? Now what? You might be like, well, now we could take. We could take, right? We could take. No, we can't. We can't take. Sorry. We, we, we can't take. That's not going to be good. We're going to lose. We're going to lose again. We still can't take. We still can't take. After king to b2, it's still a stalemate setup. What are you going to do now? It's stalemate on the board right now. It's still stalemate. We've done all this work. We're 13 moves into this line, and we still are trying to figure out what are we supposed to do to get this clown, okay? What are we supposed to do? And now I see Dirty Nasty daniel son. Now, that's a name. That's a name, okay? Just dropped the move for us. Teach. Rook to c4. The only move. The only move. I'm curious, though what you plan to do after king to b1 king to b1 and now okay now type 999 has found the secret the rook had to go to c4 now don't try again once again don't try to take this pawn on b4 this is not going to turn out good for you after a check like this maybe in queens you know maybe i could have even tried another bishop move but this looks good enough for me to shut your position down but type pointed out the genius point to rook c4 the genius point was this Bishop h7 check, king to b2, and now for the sneaky last point, bishop to c2, bishop to c2, exclamation, 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 triple exclamation mark, hello, reinforcing the stalemate, but actually giving black a move, taking on c2 only move, and now rook takes on b4, is mate is mate is it real is it real it's mate what a sequence y'all what a sequence did you see what just happened your lying eyes are not deceiving you at all okay did you see how white showed consummate skill you have to be on the highest of the highest level to have solved this puzzle from jump street okay let's be clear from night a3 to see everything to see everything. Not like, okay, let's try to no. no, everything. Knight a3 takes, check, drop the bishop on h6, block it with the king, do the oop ladder, ziggy zow, ziggy zow. Do all of this, bring the king close. We need to get close. Oh, wait a minute, you still got a stalemate. Let's step off the diagonal. Wait, so on this check, let's go back up. And now let's bring the bishop back on the diagonal, lift the stalemate, and mate. What? The word you're looking for is what? What? Chess is a sweet game. I mean, it's sweet. It's a chess is a gift to humanity. That I mean, a gift. It's been around for so long for a reason. It is a gift to humanity. This is just mind-blowing, insane stuff.